So we were following up on a leopard drag mark. So where a leopard had killed something, we weren't sure what yet, and it went across the road. And as I first walked in there, I suddenly saw this male leopard, quite a large male, they're not fully, fully grown yet. And it just pounded off, and it literally sounded like a stampede. And that's very unusual. Most of the leopards we encounter on foot here sneak off. So I was really excited that it was, this was possibly a different male leopard. And you can see he's already nervous. He's wondering whether we've spotted him. So I'm just going to keep talking normally. And this is one of the best ways to habituate an unrelaxed male leopard. And you can see there he's, he's moving his head, trying to get a reaction from us to see if we've actually spotted him. One often wonders, is there a specific way to habituate new leopards? How do you go about it? There's obviously some general rules. I mean, keep your distance, move slowly, try to keep a low, calm voice, but keep speaking. But every single situation is going to be different every time we encounter a different animal. And he is looking a lot more relaxed. Look at that, he's lying flat. This is incredible. And a little bit of patience pays off so much with an animal like this. That's what makes habituating leopards for me so exciting. It's, it's learning that individual, where his boundaries are or her boundaries, how far you can go, how far you shouldn't go. And it's a really exciting process getting to know an unrelaxed leopard. 50% closer than where we were. And we're just going to enjoy him as a silhouette for now before we pop the spotlight on. So hopefully with time, uh, Gajima might become as habituated as Tingana, for example, or, or, or even Queen Karula. Oh, look, look at that. Maybe he's a bit older than we initially thought. It's difficult to say, but he is going to be a big boy. I guess him about five years old, so he's not quite in his prime yet, but he's getting there. So if he does move further to the south, he's going to be in competition with a monster male in Tingana, who is currently in his prime. So it'll be very fascinating to see how that battle plays out. This is definitely one of my most memorable leopard sightings since I've joined Safari Live.